now that we have completed building the seat perch, we're going to walk through real quick how to balance the seat perch. That is, get the buoyancy of the seat perch just right so you'll be able to drive it underwater as well as drive it up to the surface. So right now, right out of the box, our sea perch really likes to float. Okay, Even if we push it down under the water, it's going to float right to the surface. So there are two ways that we can address this. We can add weights to the vehicle and keep adding weight until it finally sinks, or we can trim some of the flotation off. Seeing as most of the time that we do this, we don't have extra weights, it's a lot easier to take off flotation. Now, one way to take flotation off is we can disassemble the vehicle like we've shown in the past. We can take it apart, take the floats off, and trim them. With a knife, we can trim the floats right in place without having to take everything apart. In fact, with a really cheap 99 cent knife, we can do it all very simply without even go taking this away from the water. And that is simply by cutting the foam float and then slitting it down the side. And that allows us to take off a section of foam. And we can do that to both sides. Okay. And we'll see now that we've cut almost half of all the flotation we had on the vehicle. We'll put it back in the water and see how close we are. Okay, So we're still a little bit positively buoyant or floating. All right. Now one of the things you can do is you can take a look at the amount of the float that sits above the water. Yeah. Okay, And that's the amount of flotation that you can remove off the vehicle to make it neutrally buoyant or to the point where it will both float and sink very easily. So based upon that, we'll go ahead and cut off just a little bit of one of these floats. Now, if you remember when we were talking earlier about putting those vent holes, you notice that as I take this out and put it back in, all the air is naturally coming out of all those holes because we put them on the tops yep. of all the surfaces. Now, if we had air in the frame, we wouldn't know if it was the float holding the vehicle up or if it was the air in the frame. Now that we've been able to say we've gotten all the air out of the frame, we know it's just the floats that are doing it. Okay. The other part is, it is okay for our vehicle to be positively buoyant. What we want to be able to do is drive the vehicle down. So we're pretty close, so let's go ahead and we'll plug in the controller and we'll try to drive the vehicle down and see if we can get the vehicle to go down through the water. Yeah, through the push buttons. Through the push buttons on the top. Which is which? That, that's up, that's down. Okay. So we're able to drive it down and it still comes back up. In a larger pool, that's probably perfect because as you go down, water's going to have a tendency to compress the foam a little bit, so it'll actually get a little bit heavier as you go deeper. Okay, So that's all it takes to balance your sea perch to get yourself ready to go, whether it be in a pond, out in a swimming pool, or even out in the ocean. So very simple. You end up cutting off about half of the foam and your sea perch is ready to go. If you find yourself having cut off too much, it will happen. Eventually it happens. Mm -hmm. All you're going to do is take a slice of this foam, okay, 
and it's nice C-cut, so it will snap right over the frame. All right, and you're able to replace flotation and make adjustments very simply. So you can't, don't be afraid to take off more float. If it sinks, you just pull it back up. Luckily, it's always attached to you with this tether. You can haul it back up and add a little bit more foam. So as you try to do different things, you can. And then you can drive it around. And that's all it takes to balance your sea perch. So we'd like to thank the Office of Naval Research for sponsoring the Sea Perch program, as well as the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International Foundation for managing the program, which allows us to bring you the Sea Perch program. So from Sea Perch, I'm Chris. I'm Fiona. And I'm Gwen. So grab your sea perches and dive right in.